here at home, support and sympathy for those calls on too many college campuses, all elite. What are you thinking this morning? Well, many years ago, I wrote a book titled Why the Jews? The Reason for Anti-Semitism. And about 10 years ago, I made a video for Prager University on the Middle East. I was a graduate student at Columbia at the School of International Affairs at the Middle Eastern Institute. And I remember the foolishness that I was taught by very knowledgeable and bright men. It was men then. And it was that the dispute in the Middle East was over land, that it wasn't theological, and that it certainly wasn't existential. So I learned basically untruths. They weren't liars. They just, they had a predisposition to believing that the issue was land. So in a nutshell, everything that I had been exposed to and wrote and spoke and spoken uh, has unfortunately uh, come true. And the, the best way to put it is from a 2000 year old prayer in Jewish liturgy, which is stated in, in every Passover Seder in Hebrew, but I'll say it, of course, in English. In every generation, someone arises to annihilate us, not, not just to kill us, not to persecute us, not to enslave us, to annihilate us. There are massive numbers of animosities on earth, religious, ethnic, racial, national, but only one is exterminationist, and that is vis-a-vis -vis the Jew. When they chant from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, what they're saying is no Israel. And no Israel means no Jews in Israel. And the fact that there are so many people who believe that, who chant that, who wish that, uh, is one of the most frightening phenomena of our fairly dark time. At the Sydney Opera, uh, uh, at the Sydney Opera, they had a demonstration. I played it on my radio show, and they chanted, "Gas the Jews." They chanted it. They, they, and by the way, it's never Israelis. It's always the Jews. So what we're seeing is unfortunately a rerun of what was seen. Uh, during the Holocaust. I have never used the Holocaust as an analogy, never. I've never called anyone a Nazi, but uh, the, the, the Hamas and Hezbollah and Iran's regime, uh, they are today's Nazis vis-a-vis -vis the Jews. So in a nutshell, it's, uh, it's a rerun. Hmm. I have been so disheartened, and I'm sure you have too, to see the amount of support for these lunatics here at home. Um, maybe our Jewish friends, maybe you as somebody who's been fighting these university battles for a long time, have been aware of how deep and how widespread the Jew hatred is in America. Uh, I had a sense it was out there. I didn't have a sense that it was this strong and feeling ubiquitous as I see, you know, UPenn, Harvard, Yale, Stanford, we could keep going and these crowds coming out in favor of Hamas, and then the university professors. I'll just give you a sample of the latest. Every day, we get more. Uh, I used to live in Chicago for five years. It's absolutely beautiful. The Art Institute is spectacular, and the Art Institute of Chicago is one of the most respected art and design schools in the nation. There is a teacher there named Mika Tosca, associate professor, who posted on Instagram, in the wake of this savage attack on Israeli children, elderly and civilians, here she is. Israelis are pigs, savages, very, very bad people, irredeemable excrement. The propaganda has been downright evil. After the past week, if your eyes aren't open to the crimes against humanity that Israel's committing and has committed for decades and will continue to commit, then I suggest you open them. It's disgusting and grotesque. May they all rot in hell. That's what's being taught, I guess, at the Art Institute as they swing by. Then you've got Princeton National Review just releasing an exclusive with audio tape of Princeton professor Jeff Dolvin, 
who invited someone named El Kurd, a Palestinian activist, a couple months ago on campus. El Kurd accused Israel of organ harvesting uh, and of having an unquenchable thirst for Palestinian blood and land. The guy who invited him, Jeff Dolvin, uh, refused to answer when a student audience member asked at that event whether he supports Hamas terrorism. All right, that's Princeton. These are just updates to the horrors we've been hearing out of Harvard and Yale and elsewhere. Um, at UPenn, which has been ground zero for a lot of what we've been seeing on the anti-Israeli rhetoric. Last month, they held this pro-Palestinian festival. And this is what's gotten a lot of the donors mad about some of the rhetoric we heard there. Some of the details now coming out. One of the people who do appear was author Aya Ganama, who has called for death to Israel, and writer Randa Abdel Fattah, who has said Israel is a demonic, sick project and that she can't wait for the day we commemorate its end. Um, we, I could keep going. You're getting the gist. Every day, it's a new protest. It's new big reveals about how the professors and always the Students for Justice in Palestine group, not to mention the Muslim Student Association, comes out siding with the terrorists and making very clear they want Israel and Jews eliminated. That's right. The rhetoric is identical to that of the Nazis in the in the 30s, and it comes overwhelmingly from within the Muslim world, certainly not all Muslims, but it doesn't matter. Not all Germans were Nazis. Only one third of the Germans voted for Hitler and the Nazis in the last free elections before the Nazi takeover in 1932. You just need a certain number that is enough, and you need a certain number of others who have been intimidated uh, by, by these evil folks. One of the messages of my life has been uh, to warn non-Jews that to dismiss Jew hatred, aka anti-Semitism, as the Jews' problem uh, is to truly commit suicide. Anti-Semitism is the canary in the mine. There, the, almost everybody knows what that is. So in a nutshell, canaries are taken down to mines. They're more susceptible to noxious fumes. The canary dies, the miner knows, fight the fumes or you will die. The Jews are the miner's canary. And the, the miner has uh, two choices. Either say, oh, the fumes only kill canaries or we better kill the fumes, we, we, or we're next. And they dismissed Hitler and the Nazis as the Jews' problem. And it ended up with tens upon tens of millions of non-Jews slaughtered as a result of allowing Hitler to take power. Uh, we are seeing, as I keep using the term, rerun uh, of all of this. Uh, this is coming from within uh, largely the Muslim world, but not only the left is is, is either silent or uh, defends these people. For all these years that I I and others, you, not I'm certainly not alone in this, uh, but warning the the degradation, the moral degradation of our uh, of our universities. Uh, now people are awakening to it. We had an article. Uh, by the head of the Wharton School Board of, of Trustees, the head, the president of it, saying, don't give money to universities. This is the head of the University of Pennsylvania Wharton School. That's Mark School. Rowan, right? Yes, that's right, Mark Rowan. And, uh, the the only silver lining, and I, 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 I don't look for silver linings, I don't look for bad things, I try to be as objective as possible. Truth is liberating. But if there is a silver lining, it will be that liberals wake up to the threat that Islamism, not all of Islam, but Islamism and the left pose to Western civilization. That that to me would be uh, the, the one that would be a good thing to come out of all of this. Will the liberal awaken to the threat of the left and the threat of, of the Islamist? The Jenny Cell Dark Spot Corrector Sale ends promptly this Sunday. And guess what ends with it? That crazy 70% discount. That's right, all gone Sunday night. Go to GeniusCell.com slash MK60 right now. Don't delay one more minute. Here's Marsha from Austin, Texas, writing, My puffy eyes were gone after 24 hours and two treatments. Dark spots fading 
and definitely less laugh lines. A win all around. Take advantage of the Genucel most popular package, which now includes the dark spot corrector, plus the classic Genucel bags and puffiness treatment and immediate effects product, all for 70% off. Try the best skincare in the world for yourself, completely risk-free. Go to genucel.com slash mk60 today and start looking years, even decades younger tomorrow. All orders upgraded to free shipping. See results day one and get compliments everywhere you go. Guaranteed. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60, Genucel dot com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.